We begin tonight with a surprising development in the story of those swastikas painted on the door of a student at George Washington University. Good evening, I'm Doreen Gensler. And I'm Jim Vance. Turns out the student was painting the hateful symbols herself. Jackie Benson is at the university now with more on this. Jackie? Jim, these incidents, and there were several of them, caused a lot of concern here on the GW campus. Now, the FBI was called in to assist after swastikas kept appearing on a message board, similar to a dry erase board on the door of a female student. She is Jewish, who lived in Mitchell Hall. Now, the university confirms that a hidden camera placed in the hallway confirmed the student who was the apparent victim did it herself. News 4 spoke to that young woman who asked not to be identified shortly after the hate-filled symbols began appearing on her door. Here's what she had to say at that time. Oh. Who does such a thing? I wish I knew. I wish I had any clue who this was. But university police, my house doctor, administrators, nobody can think of a motive of somebody who hates me that much. Through the use of hidden cameras, interviews, and increased police patrols, we have concluded, and through a final interview today, um, investigators have concluded um, that the student who reported the incidents is responsible for the incidents. Now, the university has confirmed that the student, who is a freshman, has admitted responsibility for the swastikas in Mitchell Hall. She faces student judicial action, and she could face possible criminal charges, but I get the feeling here at the, this point that the university just wants to see her get some help. This has been a very troubling incident for everyone here. Jim, back to you. Jackie Benson. Thank you, Jackie.